I'd like to thank you for joining us for the CBT Nuggets IT Soft Skills Chat. My name is Ryan Lee. I'm part of Team CBT Nuggets. And I'm Dan Charbonneau, also part of Team CBT Nuggets. And Ryan and I conduct many, many interviews of IT professionals. And we'd like to share what we've learned through the, through the years of uh, how to effectively communicate your desire to have a career. It's really all about building culture and understanding that your culture is the right culture for the organization that you're working towards. So today's chat's really gonna focus on interviewing and how to prepare for an interview. And we've boiled it down to three simple things. Number one, make sure you do your research. There is no substitute for effort before you come. Number two, want to see whether or not it's a great culture fit. Does your core ethos align with the company's core ethos? Because it's really important to have that great marriage. And number three? Number three is, do you really want the job that you are applying for? And don't apply for a job just because it makes a lot of money, it's in the right area, or any other number of reasons. Apply for a job because you love doing what you're about to do in that job. And Dan, when I like to think about preparing for an interview, I like to think about it like this. Are you trying to get a one night stand? Or are you actually looking for a marriage? And research is really the cornerstone to that. Right. Let's exactly. talk a little bit about how many people we've seen that have come into a job interview and know absolutely nothing about CBT Nuggets. So here's a typical CBT Nuggets interview that goes poorly. They walk in, we say, hello, thank you for coming, yada, yada. And we say our very first question that we always like to ask people is, what you know about CBT Nuggets. So tell us what CBT Nuggets sells, how we think, what we do, just tell us what you know about the company. Now, if they don't know anything about the company, we say, you know, thank you for your time, but this interview's over. So we've, how many interviews have we ended at about two minutes? I'd say at least 30. Yeah, see, and these are people that have gone through the phone interview and have proven to be qualified. Great resume, and, great cover yeah. letter. They've gone through all the rigor more, but when it comes down to it, they didn't put the time in. So one rule of thumb that we like to talk about is you should usually spend at least one hour for every year you think you're going to work somewhere. And research doesn't just start at watching it and taking a look at the website. If you really want to know if that's the right company for you, go in, look at forums, look at blogs, look what others are saying about the company, check other users' LinkedIn profiles, really take the time to utilize and go through research because it's shocking how many people don't do it. And as you're interviewing someone, what a turnoff. When they come in, they don't know anything about the company, you think they're super excited to be a part because it's your passion. You want them to be passionate right behind it. Let's take a little move over to number two. And one thing I'd say that makes us who we are is our culture. Right. And how important you think it is to make sure that you spend pretty much most of your waking hours somewhere that fits with you. Your, uh, your career, your job is, what, a third of your life, a third of your hours that you're uh, on this earth, and you know a third of it you're sleeping. So a lot of your time is spent there. And so you can either go into the office and hate what you do, and think that's how all jobs are and that's just what you need to do to get paid. Or you can go in and look forward to getting there. You can have fun while you're there. You can be engaged. You can be you know, empowered to make decisions and see the results of those decisions, no matter where you are in the, in the chain. If you're an IT worker, IT professional, you have the ability to do a lot for that company. And so you want to believe in not only the technology you're working with, but the mission of the company. And that's so, a great point, Dan. So one thing I think a lot of people are, well, how do I know if that's the kind of culture I want to be a part of? And I think looking at a mission statement, looking for their vision statement, really going in like I talked about, looking and seeing what their employees say. Do they have some different videos? But really, I think a lot of times the culture fit comes down to during the interview. Make sure that you come in prepared with three or four questions about culture and really interview them as much as they're interviewing you. That's a very important part. Uh, when, you're, when you're interviewing for a job, the person interviewing you wants you to be so excited to be a part of what is there, what, what we have, this team. Uh, the interviewing person, Ryan and myself, we're not really interested in how smart you are or how qualified you are or how great you are. We're interested in how great this team can become because you are a part of it. And so if you make sure your perspective is always on the team, always on what you can provide, not this is a great opportunity for me, but this is a great opportunity for the team because I bring this skill, this skill, this skill. You can be as confident as you want to be. You know, there's, there's no such thing as overconfidence as long as you're focusing everything on the perspective of the company. I am really excited to come do great things here. I think I have a lot of potential. I can, you know, learn in this area and this area and grow here and grow here and I already can do these things and I know how they'll fit right into your, to your company here. 
So, uh, but let's really utilize focusing on that perspective. Let's utilize the me versus the we. Yep. Right? Yep. It's always the me versus the we. But culture is just so important. So make sure to take the time, like we said, to ask the right questions and align that. And then finally, it really comes down to, is this something that you love to do? Just because you got a certificate and it says, I'm going to be an IT help desk person. That's what I signed up for. I got my A+, I'm ready to rock. But I don't like it. Why would you want to do it? Why would you ever want to go in there and do something that you don't like? Make sure you're picking the right job for you, not because that's the degree you got or that's the certification you have. Make sure it's something that you're truly passionate about and you're excited to work every single day at that job. It's amazing how many of our team members we see, we don't even have to have hours here at our organization. It doesn't matter. People are coming in because the work is meaningful and the thing that they do is something that they love. So you gotta make sure and ferret that out. And how does that start? By asking really good questions again during the interview. And knowing what you want and knowing what you like. And uh, sometimes, you know, don't get us wrong, you can't just go into the perfect situation and no, have the job not. that you wanna have. You gotta, you know, pay your dues and move up through the ranks. But if you love technology, any job in technology is gonna be something that you can work with as long as the mission of the company and what the people are like and what the people are doing also is something that you could see yourself uh, you know, thriving in. So you get into that situation where you can see yourself loving that job and then you know, in the future you get to the job that you think that is the best for you, then you got the best of both worlds. People that you wanna be with, a mission that you wanna support, and technology and, and things that you like working with. And it's a-okay that the person that's doing the interviewing, if you have some specific questions about the job to really understand that, ask them. If they don't have it, we always will get right back to you or we'll bring somebody in to the interview that can answer those. It's okay to ask those things and dig a little bit deeper. Don't be afraid to make sure that it's something you're gonna be passionate about. So kind of to wrap this up, as we have this wonderful chat, so we're gonna have many more, really comes down to three things that we feel really would help prepare you for an interview. The you got first, the research, and uh, there really is no such thing as too much research. We could not wait to offer a job to uh, one particular person who just blew the lid off the research. This uh, lady told me more things about the company <laughs> than I even remembered. I mean, you can go Facebook, you can go LinkedIn, you can you know dig and dig and dig. And granted, she's an expert researcher, but boy, did she blow she the wasn't lid looking off for, of that interview. But she wasn't looking for a research position inside the company. Right. But she sure expressed how much care that she has, how much energy and passion she has, and how much she's willing to give it. Totally. And so research, number one. Second is culture. Make sure that you're reading, seeing the mission, seeing the vision, listening from uh, perspectives on social of what other people that are working there are saying when you're in the interview asking great culture questions, but make sure your core ethos and the company's core ethos are in alignment because we all want to work somewhere that is doing the same things that we internally want to do every day. And the third and final one? Third one is wanting the job that you're applying for. So just make sure that uh, the job that you're that you're asking for is the job that you want. Exactly. Well, we hope this has been informative, and we'd like to thank you for viewing, and we look forward to many more chats. Hi, my name is Ryan Lee, and I work with CBT Nuggets, a part of the great team CBT Nuggets. And I'm Dan Charbonneau, also a member of TB, TB, CB, DB, TB, team, team, team CBT Nuggets. Hi, this is Ryan Lee with CBT Nuggets. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, welcome to CBT. <laughs> 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 and down we go. Okay, no, we're good.